to come back in the kitchen one more time. This is the cookie I just take from the oven. I show you really this hot. cookie recipe. I bet it's cool. I'm going to take up a few of them. I am I'm feeling some. But as you can see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Question about this is the kind of. Christmas. We want to show you how to set the table. We're going to show you today. Christmas dark cake. We're going to show you the recipe, guys. But the final recipe. Please don't leave it in the oven like what I did. I did it long over there. The oven and get a nice burn around the edge. Please use the YouTube channel. Remember to get a copy inside of it. Don't do that because then you can't change the stick underneath. Thank you so much for watching, Chef. God, want it to fall a piece. But guys, I want to simply say to you, it's a nice recipe and lovely. Welcome back again guys. As I say, we're gonna do you a Christmas cookie recipe for the kids that when them off this Christmas and they come and visit you wherever you are, you can also make some cookie Christmas recipe. Guys, enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching the cooking program. But we're gonna start a process right now by simply basically I have a Measurement scale right here guys. I want you guys to see exactly what I'm going on with right here. That's the my measurement scale right here. Um basically let's make sure we get on the right. That's in the middle. Zero. Yep. Nice one. So basically, the first thing we need to do, get eight ounces of butter. That's one of the main things we're gonna need to do. Eight ounces of butter. Make sure your butter is room temperature, not too I want to say guys, don't make your butter too, too hard. Make sure you have it in a room temperature and basically is that unsalted butter you need to use because we don't want you to say your boy chef we gotta give the recipe and it's boiled. Anyway, eight ounces of butter. And that's one of the first things. Strip it straight inside of a bowl. Container like this one right here, guys. Just like this. That's the bowl for the butter. Um, the next thing what we're gonna do, we have some sugar. And that's one of the main things we need to do to get some sugar also. We have at least six ounces of brown sugar to four. Yeah, that's six ounces of brown sugar. That's the brown sugar. Six ounces of brown sugar. Nice one. Uh, the next thing we have some custard sugar also which we're gonna put also inside of it that's six ounces of custard sugar this is a lovely recipe and I basically want to simply say to you put it everything inside of the bowl like this you can make this at home with the kids I'm gonna know the kids and will love it so basically guys what you need to do is make sure your cream the butter, the sugar, and some vanilla. We're gonna put some vanilla straight inside of this, make you guys can see exactly what's going on right here. This is a teaspoon of vanilla. Let's put one teaspoon of vanilla inside of it. Nice and lovely. Um, that's the vanilla, and the next thing we'll need to do just to make you guys know exactly what's going on. We're gonna simply cream the butter, the sugar, and the vanilla. And then basically, we're gonna add two egg beaten. All right? So we got the butter, we got the sugar, we got the vanilla straight inside of this bowl right here. Lovely. All you need to do is simply cream it. Just like this first. That's one of the main things we're gonna need to do, guys, is to cream it. Just like this. So if you have a blender or Whatever you have at your home, we use the cake, you can use it. You might see look a little bit like this, but I'm telling you. What we're gonna do, we're gonna add an egg in it, make the egg a little bit more, making it free up. So a simple add two egg. Just like this. That's one egg. And then we're gonna add just two egg in it, guys. That's the next egg. Lovely and nice. So we're gonna simply just, just cream up everything together. Yep. So right here, that's the egg, butter, and sugar, and vanilla. 
Next thing what you need to do is to get 12 ounces of plain flour. So we're gonna get 12 ounces of plain flour right here. Nice one, that's 12 ounces of plain flour. Don't use self-rising flour, I'm saying use plain flour. That's the 12 ounces of plain flour. Check it straight inside of it. Christmas cookie for the kids. Um, this Christmas, the kids are gonna love this one. I'm telling you. Um, then I'm gonna add some spices to it. Grounded mixed spice, quarter teaspoon. Um, pinch of mixed spice. I've cinnamon, sir. This is cinnamon. Lovely and nice. Um, then teaspoon of baking soda. That's the key. Baking soda. And then also quarter teaspoon of salt. Nice one. And what you're gonna do, use a spoon and simply fold it in just like this. Take a look at time and simply fold it in. Simple faulting, just like this, guys. That's the key. Nice one. What's gonna make it, make it look like a Christmas is this. I got some glass of cherry right here. We're gonna use some cherry inside of it what's gonna make the different that's what i'm saying this christmas the kids them gonna come from all over the whole place they're gonna visit their grandmother their grand they know me their mom their friend their sister their neighbor so what you can do is basically use this recipe to occupy occupy their time since they're on holiday get them in the kitchen because you know when you come up to christmas there's a lot of cooking take place inside of the kitchen so guys basically this is what you're gonna do cut up a lot of Strawberry. That's sorry guys, that's strawberry. Some glassy, glassy cherry inside of it, just like this. These are the glassy cherry which I'm using at the moment. These one you can get them at local shop, supermarket, or wherever you go on the ice street, you can get these. These things are very, very local. You can get this at any local shop or supermarket to buy. So this is what's gonna make it look like a Christmas. Because I'm using a lot of this glass cherry inside of it. Because I want it to show you the Christmas color and the Christmas look. This is just a secret special recipe, which I didn't have the recipe for a very long time. Vivi wasn't using it and I say, you know, I need to just make something for Christmas for the kids them. So, this is the first video starting from Chef Ricardo with the Christmas. We have a lot of recipe coming up, guys. Remember, Christmas is just around the corner. And as you can see, the amount of glass cherry which I'm using inside of it because I needed to get the color of Christmas. Nice one. So basically, right here, as you can see, guys, this is the glass of cherry. Um, I want to simply say this is just 200 grams. This is just a small portion. You can buy a big portion if you want to add more to it, but that is just a small portion. As you can see, all we've been doing it so far, looking lovely and nice. And really, really, really good, guys. What we're going to do is simply pop a little bit of strawberry syrup inside of it, just like this. So we're going to fold in the strawberry syrup in it and hopefully you will love it guys because to be honest it's just beautiful 
So, simple. I know some of them might be a little bit big, but that's fine. Some of them should just chop it up a little bit smaller, but that's fine. So we're gonna get in the strawberry inside of it. I fold in a little bit more of the strawberry in it. We don't want it to get too red, but we want to have it a nice little red color for Christmas. Nice one. So as you can see right here, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Just look at it, beautiful and nice. This is just some simple like a cookie where you can make at home with the kids them this Christmas, Christmas cookie recipe. Lovely and nice. Basically, um, if you got grease proof paper, it's good to use grease proof paper inside of it. But I did not have any. When I check my cupboard, there's any. So I'm gonna just simply rub a little bit of butter inside of it like this. Um, then next thing we're gonna simply do. I'm gonna simply put in some like this by using my spoon preheat the oven first just like this guys I know you guys are gonna love this one it's brilliant it's really good very easy and quick to prepare and I wanna simply say to you gas mark gas mark 7 is really good Yes, mark seven is good for it guys and I know you guys will love it so basically as you can see exactly what's going on right here as you can see looking lovely and nice so basically what I'm gonna simply do is simply just put a little bit of syrup on top of it like this and like this Nice and lovely. Now we're gonna put this in the oven. Preheat your oven first. After you preheat your oven, basically you need to make your oven on gas box seven. Put it in the middle of the oven for roughly 12 minutes. Enjoy the recipe. This is the cookie I just take from the oven. It is really hot, but I made it cool. I'm gonna take up a few of them a while ago. But as you can see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is the kind of Christmas cookie cake recipe. I have the recipe. This is the recipe, guys. Beautiful. Please don't leave it in the oven like what I did. I did it too long inside of the oven and it get a little burn around the edge. Please use grease proof paper inside of it. Don't do that cut I did because it will stick underneath the tray and you don't want it to fall a piece but guys I want to simply say to you it's a nice recipe and I even start to eat piece already and as you can see this is the way it look looking so lovely very easy to tear away have a little bit of sticky you can cut back some of your sugar and you can cut back some of your syrup if you don't like sweet cooking like this one with cherry guys it's Christmas recipe and I'm telling you it's beautiful and it got a lot of strawberry inside of it you can have it with some ice cream or whatever you like and enjoy the recipe subscribe to the YouTube channel thank you so much but I'm gonna show you to show you something where you can also do with it with some ice cream in it nice and lovely so right here I'm just gonna simply show you something where you can also do not only just make the cookie for Christmas but you can also share it for a put it in Christmas would do for Christmas also so let's see let's get this lovely one right here nice one so that's it right there and basically you know one of your friend might have popped over and want to have a little nice little treat or something you can simply just get a nice lovely scoop of ice cream like this just like this 
looking lovely and nice. And then basically you can just simple. And so guys, this is just really nice and beautiful, very easy and simple. And that's another way we can serve this for Christmas also. Christmas recipe, Christmas style, Christmas pudding. We all know when you come up to Christmas, the kids are gonna come over, guys. We have to treat the Christmas that treat the kids them the right way when them could animate this Christmas. And hopefully, guys, will enjoy the recipe. Subscribe to the channel and leave your comments as you can see. Different kind of way you can serve and make your pudding at home. Enjoy the recipe. Thank you so much. Bye bye.